Hi, it's Mike Bailey again, and I'm back today to talk about uh, asbestos and uh, more particularly how it relates to homes in my area. Now, I'm going to be the first one to tell you that I am not a professional asbestos removal expert, um, but I do want to go over what I've seen in hopes that if you suspect that you may have asbestos in your house, you might be able to uh, call an expert or at least have some more information about how to deal with it. Uh, so first off, asbestos is a carcinogen. Um, it, it should be treated with extreme care and experts prefer that you don't do any repairs by yourself on asbestos. The danger comes in the dust particles that get lodged in your lungs and, and cause long-term health issues. And we know from, uh, you know, you've seen all the lawsuits and the lawyers on TV talking about mesothelioma, um, which is caused from people that were working in building heating systems way back when that were covered with asbestos. So there are two types of asbestos, um, friable and non-friable. And the real question you have to ask is, can it break apart easily and give off toxic dust? So non-friable are things that don't give off dust. So they're, you can walk on them, you can lean against them. Uh, they're found in floor tiles, vinyl flooring, asbestos siding, asbestos shingles, um, and mostly found in homes that were built before 1979. The key to identifying those asbestos floor tiles is that they usually came in a nine by nine tile versus today's tiles, which are a foot, 16, 18 inches. Um, they were often found in some pretty dull colors of brown, red, black, or even cream, and most often in older basements uh, glued right down to the cement floor. Uh, friable asbestos, it, that's asbestos that can break apart when you touch it, causing dust to get in the air. And uh, it's usually found in tape or thin sheets um, it, it releases that dust when touched, and to me it looks like a burlap sack covered with white paint. Um, you'll usually find it on heating ducts. They used to tape the vents of the ducts, um, heating vents, boiler pipes, and sometimes you'll even find it all over a boiler or a furnace. For that reason, if you don't use your basement, a lot of people that have an old boiler, say from the 30s or 40s, uh, that is covered with asbestos will just leave it in the basement um, and just put in a new heating unit next to it. Asbestos is very expensive to remove. So experts always recommend encapsulation or covering the asbestos um, because it is so expensive. Floor coverings can be gone over with new flooring. Uh, my mom actually has some old asbestos flooring that she put in in a house in 1966 that has two more layers over it. Um, exterior shingles, it can be sided over. Furnace tape on ducts can be sprayed by a professional um, with a sealant that's roughly $115 a gallon. Um, so removal is pretty complicated. Uh, not only do they test it, but they need respirators and throw away clothing. They seal the area off and use vacuum bagging and air purifiers so that you don't get any of this dust in your house. The big issue becomes is you can't throw any of the asbestos that you take off in the trash because it's a hazardous substance. So it has to go to a hazard, hazardous waste pickup site. Um, Again, because of all these reasons, experts just don't recommend that you do this, and they certainly don't want it to be a weekend project for anybody. Um, two other types that I've seen the most in the, the Dane County area, homes built before 1986 often had ceiling plaster that has asbestos in it. So before you start sanding or drilling into it or removing it, you might wanna have it tested. Lastly, asbestos vermiculite attic insulation is probably the most common thing that I've seen. Uh, it was blown in, has little tiny pieces of shiny vermiculite. Um, that's what gives it away because you will find the same blown in substance without that little vermiculite in it. So there are removal companies in the Madison area that will test and remove it. Uh, they'll re re-insulate for you. And there's even one company that has a grant. Um, if the asbestos was made by a certain company in the Midwest, um, they will remove it and pay half the cost of the removal. Um, as a just a rough cost comparison. I recently had a, about a 1,300 square foot ranch that was built in the 60s, had asbestos vermiculite in it, cost $4,300 for everything that was removal and replacing it with new insulation. And that was without the grant. So there you have a little bit more about asbestos. I'll post several pictures um, after the video as examples so that you can see it. And I uh, hope you find that helpful and thanks for listening in.